Hello, this is Haka Bean, and today I am incredibly sick. So I'm going to make about three or four videos for the next few days. Just tonight, and then I hope that I get better before or, or I have to start making videos live again. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, and if not, then please don't. Also, comment and subscribe as usual. Today we have SCP-963. Also known as Immortality. Item number, SCP-963. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-963 is to be given into the care of the of a current D-level operative, as well as personnel classified as Dr. Bright's assistant. This assistant is to be chosen by O5 Blank for loyalty to the Foundation, as well as ecological stability. Hmm. SCP-963 is to be attached to the subject's forehead or the back of the subject's hand using a suitably strong ung epoxy. No, that's what striked out. SCP-963-1 is now... Uh, hung by a chain from subject's neck. SC one is not allowed to be hidden upon the subject's body. An attempt to do so will be met with lethal force. Hmm. <sighs> If the current E-level subject extends a 30-day lifespan, they are to be executed and a new subject chosen to wear a 963-1. By order of O5 blank, any body as 963-1 is attached to is assault upon is given a stay of execution until it passes on of natural causes, or 963-1 is transferred to a new house. <sighs> Attention, as of uh, December 13th of a year, 963 is not allowed in proximity of any Euclid or Cataclast humanoid SCPs. This directive is to be enforced lethally. This directive has been rescinded by 056, 8, and 9. <sighs> Attention, as of uh, Incident 239B, Clef Kondraki SCP-906. B3 is not allowed on at site 17 without the express permission of 305s. Violations are to be met with lethal force. Rescinded. 056, 8, and 9. Description. SCP-963 is an ornate amulet approximately 15 centimeters in circumference made from white gold or with 13 blank K in cut diamonds around a blank oval cut ruby in a starburst pattern. It was discovered in the personal effects of uh, an unknown person who had been found dead by apparent suicide. Surrounded by a number of supernaturally related books, our agent in the area found that a 963-1 was incapable of being damaged and brought to in according to protocol XLR 8R blank. Dr. Jack Bright, who has been working for the Foundation of the Containment of SCP-590, for more information, Regarding Dr. Bright's mental condition, see Dr. Glass's psychological evaluation. A junior staff research of good standing was assigned the responsibility of researching SCP-963-1's capabilities and granted access to redacted. <sighs> Later that year, SCP-76-2 broke containment. See document 76-X2-19A. Leading to redacted deaths and blank casualties. Dr. Bright was transporting scp 9 and 63-1 by hand to pass SCP-76-2's containment unit and was among the first Earths killed in breach. Approximately blank days later, the 113 tasked to clear the area of Rebel, discovered 963 63 among the wreckage, and picked it up. <clears throat> An immediate noticeable change came over D-1-113. Interview follows. Interview log blank. The eight blank. Could you please tell me your name? It's Jack Bright! You dang well know who it is! I believe you are Tom Hiley, working for us as part of your sentence. 
Don't be ridiculous. I couldn't possibly be. SCP-963 is removed at this time from D1 and the 113's session. A further MRI shows that D1 113 sees all higher brain functions and 963-1 is returned and upon which brain function and returns. Dr. Bright, what? We appear to have a problem. Hmm. After much experimentation, it has been discovered that when any living anthropoid comes into direct skin contact with SCP-9-163-1, the mind of the subject is swiped and that of Dr. Bright is projected from 963-1 onto the subject. It is known that memories named to Dr. Bright transfer from house to house. If a subject maintains contact for 30 days, their brain function has become a duplicate of the late Dr. Bright. If if 963-1 is removed after this time period, the subject retains an independent copy of the consciousness of Jack Bright. Shakes were put in place to prevent multiple instances, instances of Dr. Bright from being creative to prevent Dr. Bright from collaborating with himself. However, it was found this was not necessary as Dr. Bright has proven thoroughly dedicated to the Foundation and its cause. Dr. Bright himself has performed extensive experimentation on SCP-963-1 with the express desire for release from it. Interviews with Dr. Bright indicate that Blank cared himself in the process of empowering SCP-963-1 and was therefore never able to slave his unconscious to the amulet. Dr. Bright hypothesized that he accidentally activated and, and 963-1's power by being killed instead of killing himself as the original creator had done. <sighs> Entry regarding SCP-963-2 On an unknown date, orders were given by 059 to attempt to replicate SCP-963-1. All attempts was met with failure until SCP-963-2 at which point that it subsequently that it expunged. All information regarding SCP-963-2 is classified Level 5. Anyone attempting to access further information about 963-2 without Level 5 clearance will be terminated. Hmm. Basically, this is uh, this SCP is uh, 963 or Dr. Jack Bright. Basically, Jack Bright is cursed with immortality because of a magical amulet. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please leave a like on, on the video, comment down, down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time with some more short and interesting stories.